Hello viewers, <coughs> in this video we will see the week 9 assignment 9 uh, suggestions for the course digital electronic circuits. First question, <coughs> the figure given below the 3 bit negative edge triggers asynchronous up counter is given. Which of the following correctly represents the decimal equivalent of the states assumed by counter output CBA and mod value of the counter? So CBA <coughs> is for that particular problem is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 6, 7. These are the four unique states and that repeats, this repeats. So this repeats option C, option C, option C, which one or two are there? Huh? Okay, option C, so 0, 1, 6, 7, 0, 1, 6, 7. Next question, the circuit shown below, the circuit shown below has uh, below has the function. Okay. So we will see the answer for this one. Second one. For the second one, if you draw the timing diagram, you will see that it is 0, 1, 6, 2, 7, 0. So this is the pattern and uh, it is option C. Option C. 0, 1, 2, 6, 7. 0, 1, 6, 2, 7. 0, 1, 0, 1, 6, 2, 7. Option A. 0, 1, 6, after 6, 2, 7. After 6, 2, 7. Not this one. Uh, uh, 2, 7. D. Option D. 0, 1, 6, 2, 7. Option D. What I mentioned is, I mentioned here wrongly. C. Mm. Okay, option D. Next, for the third one, consider the circuit below. For this circuit, the counter circuit is which circuit? Third one. So, third one. Third one, D, C, B, A states. So, we have uh, 0, 1, 10, 11, 4, 5, E, F. <coughs> and then the uh, repeats, 0, 0 repeats. So how many states we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 unique states are there. Therefore, this is mod 8. Mod 8. Mod 8 counter. Option B. Fifth one, 5-bit uh, modulo 32-bit triple counter uses JK flip-flop. So if the propagation delay of each flip-flop is 20 nanosecond, the maximum clock frequency that can be used is equal to fourth one. So propagation delay, total propagation delay is n tau. So this is equal to 5 into 20, 100 nanoseconds, which is equal to 0.1 microsecond. And then, uh, sorry, this is uh, f frequency, f 10 megahertz. This is frequency f. Frequency F. Okay. This is 10 megahertz. Option D. The following counter is initialized with M equal to 0, A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C equal to 0. Assuming M is changed to logic 1 at 5th clock pulse, find the logic value of A, B, C, Y at the 9th clock pulse. 9th clock pulse, 5th one. So we have taken initial initial uh, value as m 0 a 0 b 0 c 0 s 0 y 0 then we have to find out the sequence so this is this is what we got it is option d it is option d option d option d 1 triple 0 1 triple 0 okay then which of the following switch position implement a divide by 6 divide by 6 divide by 6 clock frequency divider so the answer we will see here 
you have moved to seventh one, na? Okay, okay. Sixth one, sixth one is here. So, if you position the switch at three, so this is what we are getting. And I have not shown the timing diagram. That means here we have three ones, three zeros. So this is divided by six. Divided by six clocks. Six clocks. Option A. Option A. Seventh one. A modulo a modulo sixteen ripple counter is constructed using three flip flops. The propagation delay of flip flop are twenty five nanoseconds. Find the suitable clock frequency for no miss in the counting. Seventh one. So seventh one is here. So N T again is less than T clock, uh, which is uh, four into twenty five is uh, hundred <coughs> nanoseconds. <coughs> that should be less than T clock. So it is for nine megahertz. We are getting point one one microseconds. This condition is satisfied for nine megahertz. For other uh, this value T clock will be very less. Okay. So 0.11 microsecond should be less than T clock period. So option is A. Oh. Ah. Thank you, viewers. We will see the second part in the next video. The next.